emails, which either chill speech uh, uh, that they don't like, uh, or they actually punish students that run afoul uh, of, of these types of policies that, that don't conform to their liberal ideology. Well, if you think it's bad at colleges and universities with stopping speech, you have not seen a story like this. It shows how bad it's gotten. Okay, we have a conser conservative UCLA professor, his name is Keith Fink. He teaches free speech. He teaches communications at UCLA. He's ripping into the UCLA, into UCLA and his boss is there. They're trying to stop students from enrolling in his courses. They don't like his courses. Professor Fink says his department head is actually blocking students from taking his free speech on campus classes. Why? Because fellow professors are politically hostile to his ideas. And now Professor Fink may be fired from his job for refusing to buckle to political correctness. And he joins me now. Good to see you, Professor. Thanks for coming on the show. Tell us your story. What's going on? What's going on right now is they're trying to get rid of me. Uh, in, in two or three weeks, I'll know if they've accomplished that. Uh, and in that process, they, just like they deny students their uh, due process rights, uh, in the most cavalier fashion, they've denied me my due process rights. Uh, in this excellent review, one of the factors is student evaluations. I was categorically told that I could not submit student evaluations. That was a flat-out lie, uh, contrary to their policies. Then when I pointed that out to them and I gave them the names of students they could call, I gave them ten names, they called not a single one of those students. When I then pointed that out, uh, and they got some student evaluations. The best student evaluation didn't make it into my file. But what is the most maddening aspect of this all, the single most important thing in my evalu evaluation, is the evaluation by a professor. They asked me to uh, declare who I thought was biased against me. So I set forth who I thought was biased against me, and guess who did my evaluation? The person that was biased against me. Not a single of the other 10 to 12 Senate faculty members who were non-biased, who could have done the evaluation, did. And as you can guess, the evaluation... Uh, yes. how, how, how is this happening? All right, so let me just back up. There's, we, there's a website at your school. Students routinely give you really high ratings out of, I think, a ranking of, rating of tops of five. I think you get 4.75. So who exactly is doing this to you at UCLA and why? Well, without patting myself on the back, if I'm not uh, the most popular teacher on campus, I'm one of them. It's the admin and the students at this school are wonderful and they're open-minded like I believe students are throughout the country. It's the administration. We have liberal ideologues uh, that are chalk fill uh, of the UCLA administration. So right now it's the, it's the new chair. Of course, I had no problem the previous nine years. I actually happen to have conservative chairs the previous nine years that would have never gone along with this. And then there's high-ranking officials that do not like my empowering students knowing about their First Amendment rights, which UCLA continues uh, uh, to, to trample on. And in addition, UCLA also, like many of these schools that have followed the Obama's uh, 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 co Dear Colleague letter, they trample on students' due process rights in these sexual assault type hearings. All right, Professor. And students know to come to me. Okay. I, I, I just want to understand. I want to make it clear to the viewer. What exactly do these professors and academics who don't like you what are they saying that they don't like that you teach? What do they believe in and what are you saying? Well, they don't say directly to me what they don't like. I mean, they would not have the temerity to actually debate me on any issue. But you're a conservative, uh, right? It's a trigger warning. Yeah, you're a conservative, that right? That is correct. Okay. That is correct. But, but, that's not, but that's not the way I teach my classes. I don't teach okay. students how to think. I just try to make students think, and okay. I present both sides. Larry Fink, uh, Professor, please come back soon. We love having you on. Keith Fink, sorry about that. Keith Fink, thank Any, you anytime. so much. Really Any appreciate time. it. Thank you. Well, remember when the New York Times was big on comparing President Obama's inauguration crowd size?